Rationale Combi Ovens. Accessing CDS. On SEC Lines Self Cooking Center Ovens. We'll cover of inversions, how to do it, and what it means. First, of inversions. The SEC Model Series oven was manufactured in two versions. The original version E was made from 2004 to 2008, then the version G was made from 2008 to 2011. Those letters are the fifth digit of their serial numbers. Now there happens to be a version H. That's a white efficiency with five senses, but it doesn't belong in this video. And uh, they never made a version F. Without looking at the oven serial numbers, you could quickly distinguish between the version E and version G. The version G has a drawer by the hand shower and the version E does not. Both ovens have the CDS feature, however the version G has an additional bar graph called the care control graph which is also accessible through the control panel. So with a version E, no F, and a G, and of course Mr. H over there, you have to wonder what happened to A, B, C, and D. Well, those letters were taken up by the CPC line that went through many changes during its production period. Now remember that during CDS operation, the unit's last measured fill volume is compared to the generator's rated volume and the calculated amount of scale is represented by red bars. Accessing and viewing the CDS graph is easily done from the cooking screen, even if the oven is in a cook cycle. There are some subtle differences between the version E and version G oven displays, but getting to the CDS graph is the same. On both of these ovens, we're on the My Cooking screen. First, press the function key. Notice here that the version G's oven displays a care control graph and a clean jet plus care button. Version E lacks that graph and has just a clean jet button without the word care in it. We'll go over the reasons why here in a few minutes. To get to the CDS graph, push the service key. This particular service key is only for user level access and will not take you to the service menus. Now the CDS bar graph is displayed. With that, you can quickly assess the condition of the steam generator, and then to exit, hit the return key twice. The Calc Diagnostic System doesn't just give us a bar graph to read. On the version G oven, it calculates how many care tabs to use. It also makes a built-in descale program available to technicians and it triggers the calc check display. Now on the version G oven is not just a CDS graph, there's also a care control graph. CDS does have some behind the scenes influence by telling how many care tabs to use, which is of course based upon how much scale is in the steam generator. But understand that the care control graph is separate from the CDS graph, and its display is based upon usage patterns of the oven, such as cooking modes, times, and temperatures. So the care control graph cannot be used as an indicator of scale buildup. So what's this about a descale program? Well, it's rarely used and easily misunderstood. But here's where you find it. Here on the version E oven, the descale program key displays despite the number of red bars. However, on the version G oven, the option to use the Descale program is only available to you after seven or more bars. But that doesn't mean to wait until then to descale it. As we'll see in a minute, regular and frequent cleaning in CleanJet Plus Care cycles is designed to keep scale from building. This Descale program showing up at seven bars simply means the CleanJet Plus Care hasn't been done often enough and a stronger descaling procedure is urgently needed. Now this program is automatic, but the maintenance manual should be consulted in order to guide you through its steps. Incidentally, this descale program has been removed from the newer white efficiency line of ovens. Calc check. Once CDS has reached 8 bars, this oven happens to be showing 9 bars, 
This will display for up to two minutes when the oven is first turned on. The technical manual specifically states to descale the oven within two weeks following this first beam display. Before attempting to quantify a degree of scale buildup based upon the CDS bar graph, let's do a quick overview on the methods available to us for descaling an oven. Beginning with the SCC line of ovens, we now have three ways to deal with scale. The care control system provides us a mild descaling solution to address scale several times a week during cleaning. Otherwise, chemical descaling is done every three months and up to a year during regular preventative maintenance. Then there is physical extraction, which is necessary when the preventative maintenance has been neglected. The care control system is obviously a major labor saver. It's available to us on the version G SEC and the white efficiency, but it is not available on the version E. The version E merely has a clean jet program to clean the oven. The next easiest way to address scale is by doing a chemical descaling. Now it would be just dandy if there was no red bars and 100% water volume in the oven, but that will rarely be the case. A red bar and each additional one thereafter is an indicator of many thin layers of scale stacked onto each other that must be removed. At 7 bars, 25% of a steam generator's rated water volume is occupied by lime scale. That's when the version G oven makes the descale program available. At 8 bars, the generator is nearly 30% scaled up and calc check displays. Now these percentages are all relative to the size of an oven. Countertop models will start out at slightly more than one gallon of water volume and ranging up to nearly two gallons. A floor model SCC-202G will hold nearly three gallons of water. At seven bars on the CDS graph or 25% lime scale buildup, that equals to three quarters of a gallon less water offset by nearly 10 pounds of scale. So when do you descale it and how? Let's look at some best practice situations based upon the CDS graph. Now recall that the version E oven lacks the care control system, so cleaning tabs do nothing more than make the cooking compartment shiny. Yet it does provide the automatic descale program. So at one bar, by following its directions and pumping the descaler in when it says to, the generator will be spick and span again. Or you could simply just hold off until there's more scale buildup before you do that. At three bars, that's an ideal time to maximize upon your efforts by employing the automatic descale program. In either case, just be sure the self-cleaning pump works before you start so the descaling solution can be removed. At seven bars, that's really too much for even a chemical descale to do it in one evolution. At this point, there's possibly enough loose scale settled at the bottom of the generator to bind up the self-cleaning pump. So at this stage, some physical intervention is prudent by draining the water and removing the self-cleaning pump to rake out loose scale. Then follow up with either a manual or automatic chemical descaling procedure. For the version G oven at one bar, it doesn't provide the automatic descale program. The care control system is intended to be used to knock the scale back. When done often enough, scale will be kept to a minimum. If it reaches three bars, evidently that's not been happening. You can still run the oven through care control cycles, but it would take many four-hour evolutions to put a dent in the scale formation. A manual chemical descaling is probably the best approach at this point. The automatic descale program still isn't available. At seven bars, again, there will be a significant amount of loose scale and should first be physically scraped out. If you don't, although the automatic descale button is now present, that may have to be done more than once to get the generator back to a pristine condition again. One final note. We've seen CDS go up in red bars, but does it go down on its own? Well, yes and no. Yes, if it's just completed an automatic program, such as the care control cycle in the version G oven, and the chemical descale program, 
CDS will automatically reset back to the reduced amount of scale it measures. Otherwise, CDS will not automatically reset following any form of manual descaling, whether it was by physical extraction or by using a chemical descaler. Therefore, CDS must be reset manually. It's a simple procedure performed in the service level mode under basic settings.